gorgeous. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin Burke. I'm a vocal coach. About me now. I'm on a mission to teach the world how to sing, and I made you a free 15 minute singing lesson. The link is down in the description. It's on my site, Singer. If you actually go through that lesson and do all the exercises, you really will hear an improvement in your voice. And I think it's going to show you what you're capable of. Anybody can learn to sing. I don't know what you've been told in the past. It might have been like me and people told you that you have to be born with a great voice, that you can't develop a great voice. And I am here to tell you that that is so false. That is such a lie. If you have a dream of being a singer, you can achieve it, okay? You can develop a great voice. All it takes is doing the right exercises. And honestly, I just want to prove that to you, that when you're doing my exercises, when you're doing the right exercises, you can improve so fast. So. That lesson is there for you down in the description. Over 150,000 people in 100 countries have taken that lesson and pretty much everyone's heard an improvement. So you should definitely give it a try after this reaction. But until then, are you ready? Let's do it. You know, it's so interesting from a timing perspective, even listen, I'm going to play that again. Listen to Lisa actually lags a little bit behind the beat. I'm surprised, but I think that was to give it just a little bit of a live feeling, give it a little bit of that authenticity. So it's not just so perfect. You know, many people don't even realize this, but the greatest artists sometimes will intentionally leave mess ups so that it makes it feel like it's just authentic and raw and real. Ironically, sometimes you don't want to be perfect. Everyone's trying to be perfect, but you don't want to be. No. I missed it again. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. This is just not my day-to-day, -day, by the way. But hold on. Okay. Hear that? Gorgeous, that was gorgeous. And again, this speaker's kind of compressing everything, but I think I heard a higher third in the background. I'm gonna find out. If not, there would be like a weird harmonic on her voice, which would be crazy. I think that there is a, uh, just a, like a really tight higher third in the back there, but loving that melody and I love that minor chord change. That's great. <laughs> Okay, I wasn't sure where they were gonna go with this. I was like, it's kind of an interesting piano melody. I love that they added that beat behind it. That sounds so good. That sounds really, really good. Let's keep going. Here we go, classic. That's such a classic cadence. That ba da ba da ba da ba. That cadence is used all of the time, and I, they've had it in a lot of songs recently. So, Blackpink, use different cadences, okay? I'm getting tired of that cadence over here because every pop song has that cadence, but anyway, I still love you guys. You know I still love you guys. Yeah, just who's sounding great. She's sounding really good. It's, it's very clear you can hear everyone's tone, and you can hear everyone's unique tone. That's what's so incredible. Every one of them sounds different you know just shoves a lot of the resonance kind of through the nasal cavities to give it that kind of bright ping that kind of like just a little more nasally quality to the voice which i like i like the difference they all have very bright voices but they're all very unique okay they all have a lot of predominantly nasal resonance within the tone but i like it it's nice it's bright it's perfect for this style of music and it's unique so they're killing it let's keep going 
about my bed I've been all about my head Wondering if I gotta try and pretend 나도 잘 모르는 날 누가 알아주길 기대하는 내 모습이 차지가 두려워 저 빛이 더 밝아질수록 내 그림자도 길어지는데 너무 눈이 부셔 올때 Ginny has the most open tone of all of them. This is this doesn't mean it's a better tone or a worse tone. Just she's opening up and and utilizing more mouth resonance than Jisoo, Rose, or Lisa. So it's interesting. You can hear all of their different unique tones, and I think that that's just so beautiful. You know, everyone should have a unique tone. There shouldn't be any kind of people trying to copycat each other or just completely copy somebody else's tone. And that's why even for you as a singer, it's so important to work on your tone and work on what makes you unique and work work on you know what makes you special and a lot of that is your unique vocal tone and you have something that's so unique to your voice right now that only you have only you have it I feel like I'm preaching to you right now but seriously and what breaks my heart is when some singers there's something that makes them so special and for whatever reason maybe sometimes they don't like it or maybe sometimes they think that because they're different or they sound different that means that they're not as good or they don't sound like this person when in reality if we were to hone in on what made you so unique there's a part of your voice that that really is just so unique to you if we honed in on that if we worked together and really worked on that vocal tone you could have so much commercial success if you really honed in on your strengths and worked with your uniqueness and that's what i feel like you know a lot of times people will get with coaches and they'll just turn them into a cookie cutter singer it's like they put them through the same process the same system and they turn out another like cookie cutter singer singing the same vowels the same everything so anyway it's pet peeve of mine but again you have something so unique to your voice so just own it, embrace it, work on it, figure out what that is, or work with someone like me or somebody else to figure out what that is, and then enhance that, because that's what will bring commercial success. <laughs> Transition. I love that. Yeah. Mm. Oh. She's a little behind the beat, listen to that. Okay. Great lesson. We got to replay that just for a little bit, but listen to how she's singing right behind when the drum set. Dude. And she's gonna be just barely behind when that when that snare hits. Listen to this again. That's a technique to use when you want to be a little more soulful. When you want to kind of get people bumping their heads. You know, it's not gonna be like a hype song where you want to be a little bit in front of the beat. This is completely different. This is so great. I'm so glad they did this because it gave it just that feeling and that like rhythm and soul. I just bump my head. A little bit behind. It's so good. That cadence. Don't you agree that it was important that they dropped out there to give that kind of contrast? They're about to come in big with that final chorus. It's important that they dropped out. Ooh, I like that right there. That right there felt like she was talking to me. It didn't even feel like a vocal performance. I love that. Ooh. What a lyric, too. Honestly, I wasn't even paying much attention to the lyrics, but what a lyric there. Um, I feel like they're being really vulnerable on this record, which makes me happy because I was feeling a little disconnected with all those hype songs, to be honest. I was just like, come on. No one's this confident all the time. Like, come on. Let us in. Let us in as an artist so we get to know you more. And I'm so glad that they did on this album. <laughs> I 
don't know. I ain't even mad about that cadence. I'm not mad about it. It's tasteful. How they did it in here, it's tasteful. It's not overdone. It's good. Yeah, that was great. You know, it's like they listened to what I said before. Obviously, they dropped the album <laughs> before I said it, but they knew what the fans would want. They gave a song that was just showing off the vocals. I don't know if you saw my last reaction, but I commented. I was like, I would love it if they would do a song that was just showing off their voices because they all have amazing voices. And it's, it's, it's one thing if, you know, you're kind of more of like a marketed group. You don't have like the best voice. And so you're going to really focus on the production and the instrumentation. But with them, it's like, they're so good. Like, why are we hearing the synths in the background and not the voices? You know, maybe I'm biased because I'm a vocal coach, but I don't think so. I think that we want to hear their voices. And I'm so glad that they gave this track because it's not that the beat in like the, the, the beat focus songs are bad. It's just I need contrast. Like, give me variety. You know what I mean? Show me the voice, too, especially if you have it like that. So. Anyway, I was super pleased with this. I really love this. I want to know, what do you think? Do you agree with some of what I said? Do you disagree? Uh, leave a comment down below. And then again, if you haven't taken my free lesson, now would be a great time to do it. And the more you're on the site too, just take a look at the uh, testimonials at the end. Or I, I have a little video where I talk to you um, at the end of the free lesson too. But yeah, take a look at the reviews as well, you know, and, and, and also take a look at the FAQ where I talk about the community. You know, I'd love to invite you into my community where you can get personal feedback from me on your voice you can ask me any kind of questions i can answer them we can just become friends you know what i mean like everyone in that community are friends and we're all here for each other on the singing journey you know and and it's like coming as a friend not as a guru but as a friend and there's hundreds of singers in there that you can network with that you can meet and that you can be on this journey with together because who wants to go about you know a journey like learning to sing alone and i'm telling you you can learn to sing if you have it in you do not wait you know don't don't wait to follow your passions you know i feel like with everything with the lockdown it's been a wake up for a lot of people i know a lot of people my chair keeps squeaking but a lot of people reached out to me and was like hey when when i was locked in and quarantined it was a wake up for me that i got to pursue what i want out of this life like the passions that, that are inside me, I need to pursue those. And you owe it to yourself to pursue those. And if singing is one of them, I think this is your sign that you need to go for it. You know, you need to go for it. You need to take that chance. At least take the free lesson. That's an easy first step. And if you have those thoughts in the back of your mind, I know a lot of people, it's scary to think about even trying to improve because it's like, I can't sing. I can't do that. I want to, but I can't do it. Don't listen to that, okay? Life is way too short. And if that passion is in you, it's in you for a reason. And you owe it to yourself to just give it a try and just see what you're capable of. So go take that free lesson. I'll see you over on the site. Tons of love. And I'll talk to you very soon. Peace. But for your eyes get stars above I'll spend some good I have to keep you up I'll be there I won't let down No, you can't count